What we're going to look at next is basically how to change from a logarithmic to exponential functions. So as you can see in our first three examples here, that each of our problems have a log in the equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't manipulate these and uh, change them from one to the other. Now what you need to do as you're looking at me and watching this is to see how the parts are related. Because for us really to make sense of logarithms, it's important that we understand what they would look like in terms of an exponential function. So as you can see, we have 2 is equal to the log base 5 of x. Now we're trying to solve for x, so we want to get x by itself. So we need to undo the log base 5 uh, in our problem. Well, the inverse of a logarithm is the exponential function. So we're going to learn a new math word today, and the new math word is we're going to exponentiate. And what that means is we're going to make both sides of our equation the exponent of the base of our choosing. Now, the reason I chose a base of 5 is because we want the base of the logarithm and the base of our exponential function to be the same so that they'll cancel since they're inverse operations, that's what we're looking for. So when we simplify this, we're going to raise both sides of our equation, uh, make that 2 uh, an exponent of 5, and make this log base 5 of x and an exponent of 5. So on the left side of our equation, what you're going to end up with is 5 squared is equal to, and then here this will cancel and leave us just x. So as you can see, there's some connections. When you're taking the log base 5 of something, it really is asking you uh, that 5 to the answer power is equal to that. So uh, that's kind of an awkward problem because as you can see, we know it's 25. So uh, we'll look at the next one and see if it can, doesn't make a little bit more sense. So it says 3 is equal to the log base b of 64. Now the base of our logarithm is b. So what we're going to do is we're going to exponentiate with the base of b. And what that means is we make the 3 an exponent of b and we make the log base b of 64 also an exponent of b. Now over on the right side of our equation, these two things will cancel, and it's going to leave me 64 is equal to, and then b to the third power. Now most of these problems, what you're going to end up with is you're actually going to end up with something similar to the last example, where you know what your base is. Your base is actually going to be a number, and then we're having to try to solve that. So but here's another, the middle one is an example of just another way that we can rewrite a logarithm in terms of an exponential function. So let's look at the last one. In the last one, our base, of course, as you can see, is 3. So we're going to exponentiate with a base of 3. The reason we do that is that's the inverse operation. So over on this side of our equation, those will cancel and leave me 7 is equal to 3 to some power. And the reason that we uh, change from one to the other is a lot of times you can't solve this. So, you know, looking at these problems, it might be difficult for you to see uh, the answer on these problems um, without knowing, uh, without putting them in exponential form. So, hopefully it's pretty easy for us to see a couple of these. It'd be easy to tell me that x is 25 in this one. It would probably be easy for you to tell me x or b is 4 in this one. But then this one is obviously going to be a little bit more difficult. So, we'll figure out other ways to solve a problem like that.